y'all got me doing this. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look in the five and ten Glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes aglow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be on your own front door A pair of hop along boots and pistol that shoots this wish of Barney and Ben Those of will talk and will go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen And mom and I can hardly wait for school to start again It's beginning to look Ooh, I'm very early on that one <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Soon the bells will start and the thing that will make them ring is the carol that you sing right within your heart. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. There's a tree in the Grand Hotel, one in the park as well. The sturdy kind of doesn't mind the snow. I sang that part wrong, I know, I know, y'all don't get me for it, but I sang that part wrong, there's a quick switch up going on there, but hey guys, hi, yes indeed it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and I am super excited, keep sending the songs if you guys are going to enjoy them, I hope you enjoy that one, I'm not going to say who it was by, uh, because... I had too many requests. I had so many requests, especially for this one, but especially from Amelia and Mohani. They specifically said that I should open up the program with that. So with that being said, let's get into your life lesson for today. This is a very, very important one. And uh, just the same way how we need to care our relationships with family and our spouses, we also need to care our relationship or our friendships. They do need care. And this is why. One of the top five regrets of the dying is that they let their friendships fade away. Friendships need time and attention. They need to be prioritized, not just in word, but in deed. So nurture them like a prized garden. The payoff is so worth it. So again, I am pleading and asking people out there who are listening to this proverb. If you have unresolved issues with friends who have helped you in the past, friends who are benefiting you in a positive manner, who are always pushing you and tell you, hey girl, you could do it. Hey guy, go ahead and do this. Your ideas are great. You should do this. You should do that. But for some reason or the other, you guys fell out. I really think that this is the moment that you guys take the time and mend your friendships with the people that you love the most because it is going to be worth it at the end of everything. So... Don't wait until that awakening moment when you're on your deathbed and you're wondering about your friendships that you should have taken care of long enough. Do you guys notice that there's a big sh Oh my gosh. I put too much of the shine on my nose and now I look like Rudolph the shiny nose ring there. But yeah, but that's your life lesson for today. And that is my encouragement to all of us. If you have unresolved issues with friends that you consider best friends, please take care of them. Please ask for forgiveness. Please be the bigger one. Don't sit there telling yourself that she did me wrong, so she needs to apologize. Or he did me wrong, so I'm not going to him until he comes to me. Uh-uh. Be the bigger person. Go to that person. Make the amends. Make the apology. And just keep the friendship going because in your eyes and in your head and in your heart if you know that that friendship is worth it you are not going to let it slip by and that is your life lesson for today just like every other relationship your friendships need care don't wait until you guys wait until the end of the year or don't even wait until you reach your deathbed and then you start to regret the fact that you did not mend a particular friendship that you should have taken care of long in advance that's it from me. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another life lesson and another Christmas song. And I'll see you guys later and have a great remainder of your Monday. Bye-bye, guys.